Hello everybody, welcome to the Candy Dish Mod Pack. Toddy the Body here, where it is always sweet and we have fun every day. Let's go over to our... Oop, I thought we'd go a little bit further. Let's try again. And... Pull ourselves over to our base. Uh-huh. Like, slowly going over. Anyway, so today... Today... I want to get stuck on all the hills. No, today, since we talked about the Ender Rift over here... Uh-huh. Yep, I moved it over here. Here it is, inside of our lovely base that you can see that I've added to it. So our base is coming along here, or one of our buildings in our base. I've added some pressure plates so our, <laughs> our door's a little bit more automatic. Isn't that nice? That is nice. That is just lovely. And I've added some chests here. One of them is a project chest. Okay, so we've talked about, last time, we talked about uh, incorporating the Ender Rift into auto crafting and the auto crafting is what I want to set up, set up today. Now a while ago I put out a video on easy auto crafting with RF tools control. In fact if you're not a subscriber um, I'm pretty sure it's the video that shows up for you to see right away. I don't think that it like starts playing automatically because you know I, I really hate that when you like go to some pa somebody's page you want to like check it out or their channel I mean and uh, a video starts playing while you have another video, it starts talking over it and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, we have a project chest here today. We're going to uh, incorporate it into this. That video, I added a link, a paste bin link, so that you can get the program and just put it into your programmer and save the program and, should be, and it should work automatically almost. Well, not automatically, but everything should be set up as long as you set everything up in the video. Anyway, so what I'm trying to say is that I will use another paste bin uh, program that was in there that is from when I was talking to uh, Dave in chat. Uh, he's the guy who makes the Resonant Rise mod pack. And uh, I didn't put in the description, which I should have, but the difference between the one that's in the description and the one that I added to the chat when I was chatting with him is that he brought up the point that if you have some crafting recipe that uses something like lava buckets or water buckets or something like that, then the bucket gets left behind inside the workbench and uh, it messes up further crafting. And then I uh, modified it a little bit so that it clears that bucket or any other sort of recipe that has something that's left behind. So I'm going to put the new uh, paste bin link in the description. I'm also going to link that video so that you can see it. And we're gonna set it up today. Hopefully it'll be easy. Hopefully it'll be something that you can do yourself. So let's get started. Uh, first thing we're gonna need is a processor. That's like the uh, brain of all of your RF tools programs. We have our power here. It is powering the Ender Rift. It is powering the storage scanner and it is going to power the processor. Those are the three blocks that you need at least powered. Now you don't have to put these two items on the power cell you could have the thing from extra utilities where it's like wireless power or if you have draconic evolution i believe it has some wireless power also something cool i want to show you also um besides all of this something that i just found out while playing with all this you can add items to your storage by just throwing them into the rift oh and i missed i missed i made a magnet from actual editions it's toggleable now toggleable i like that word uh just with a shift right click you can turn it on and off uh, used to, it was always on. And you had to like just move it out of your inventory. Let's see if I can do this and not make a liar out of me. Uh -huh, there we go. And then now it disappeared and uh, it should be back in my storage. Yep, it is. Okay. Let's clear our inventory out. There we go. And we're ready to get started. So our processor. Let's go ahead and take it step by step. In case you don't know all about this, the processor needs a core to start programs. Some crafting recipes are a little bit more, um, man, I wish you can shift click these things in here. Uh, some crafting recipes have a little bit more, there, there are more recipes below them, like tiered recipes. Uh, so the reason that I have so many cores is for those recipes that have like, you know, more recipes below them that, you know, recursive, recursive recipes that need more cores because each one will do a recipe. If you have just one in there, you'll only be able to do one, one crafting recipe at a time if you need to make sticks or something for an axe then you'll need another core and then you'll need another one for the planks and so on and so forth so i have eight in here eventually i'll fill up i'll fill up all the empty spaces that i don't need 
Uh, and I'm using the tier 2 core because for the tier 3 you need dimensional shards, and I have not been to another dimension yet. Uh, another thing that you'll need in case you are using nodes, which we will be in this episode and for this setup, you'll need a network card. There's a network card and then an advanced network card. The difference is that the range is a little bit more and then plus you can talk to other processors if you need to. We don't need to in this, but I just made it anyways because we have the supplies. Uh, also, if you want to talk to your scanner or access your scanner, you'll need one of these storage control modules. Shift right click to store that uh, location onto here and then you need to put that inside the spot right here all right awesome uh now for this uh process we are going to need to allocate some spaces to the program uh for this specific program we're going to need to allocate spots 0 through 11. so these spaces are going to be doing the crafting these spaces are extra for like moving items around all right oh and uh i didn't i, I already had it set up if you if you hit this button here you can see them and you can like click them on and off all right, so what's next here? What's next? We need the workbench. Uh, I'll need a programmer. I'll need a crafting station. The workbench I'm going to connect to. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to connect it up here on top. We'll make it easy. And then the crafting station, we'll put it right here. And then the programmer, we'll put it right here. The crafting station, this will hold all your recipes once you have them. And the programmer, this is where you do your programming. So let's see, what else do we have in our fancy bucket here? A programming card, we'll need that, and we'll need the node, because we need to talk to the rift. We need the uh, we need the programmer to dump stuff back into the rift, and unfortunately, with how the op codes work over here, you can't just assign it to the storage control module. Is that what it's called? Yep, storage control module, I got it right. So one easy way to do this is that there's a, there's a, block, there's a space here, and if you, uh, there we go, get it inside there, um, the actual block inside the rift in the multi in the multi block rift they need to talk to is the rift itself. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna name this channel craft and then we're gonna name the node rift. All right. So now that we have our parts put down, we have the node and we have the crafting station. We need to assign those to our processor and how you do that is you do is it net setup or is it set net? Let's do net setup. And then uh, our channel is called craft, so we're going to type that in there. And then it finds one node and one crafting station. That's great. What are you chewing on? Don't chew on my chair, please. Thank you very much. Go chew on something. Here's a bone. Here's a bone. Go chew on that. Go. Go get it. All right. Okay. And now we're back. All right. So let's start our program. The craft, the paste bin that you will find in the chat with Dave will uh, we'll link you to a paste bin site uh, page and if you go down to the bottom where you see the raw data if you highlight all of that and then copy and paste it you know the uh, control C button the copy and then you go in here you can do control V and you'll be able to paste the program now if we're out all the way at the top we're gonna get an error see just like that so if you get that don't worry just go down one and I'll tell you why there you go pasted it in the reason why is because these are one higher than the block that we were on. So like there's no spaces up here. You got to go down just to make space. Okay, so with that recipe that you're going to copy in here, it's not going to be complete for you. And it's not complete for me right now as well. What we have to do is we have to change some of the locations. And what we're going to do is we're going to work through those locations together. So what this thing here is going to do is going to ask us, well, where would... Where is, where is the storage with all of our crafting cards? Uh, that is going to be the Ender Rift core because we're going to store all of our crafting recipes inside our core along with all of our items. And I have a few in here already. If I go like this card, you can see these are all crafting recipes that are already inside there. Come on now. Stop barking. Stop barking. We're recording. All right. Okay. Good. Thanks for listening. So because this node is called Rift... We want to go inside of our programmer and we want to go here. It's asking inventory with the crafting cards. We want to type inside here Rift and then we want to leave it on side up because it's going to access the side that is up, which is the Rift from the node. Awesome. All right. So that one's complete. Let's go to the next thing. The next thing here is also asking where our crafting recipes are, our crafting cards, and we're going to do Rift and we're going to do up once again. Awesome. Great. 
Okay, and then these things you can keep on their own. This one here is going to ask, uh, wait, 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 wait. I do believe that there's something else here. Oh, destination. Like if you have any, like, let's say you just need two sticks, but the crafting recipe of two planks makes four sticks. This is asking you, well, where do you want to put the leftover sticks? We want to put them back into our rift, right? So once again, we're going to do rift. And this time we're still going to do up just like all of those before. It's going to be very easy. There you are. Okay, now we can move on. And then here, let's see, this is going to ask where our workbench is uh, so that we can actually craft the items. So our workbench is here, it is up from the processor. Oop. It is up from the processor. So that means the location is going to be side up. Okay, so now it's gonna ask you, well, what side of the workbench do you want to access? We want to access the upside. And now the reason for that Let's get out of here. If you want to put items into here, just like a furnace, you have to put it in from the top. If you want to take the result out, you have to take it from the bottom. And this is the result. This is an internal storage and that is accessed from any of the sides. So we put our items inside and that's the only thing it's asking us for, right? Yep. So now we want to take the result out, which is going to be side up from the processor and then take out from the bottom. Good. Okay, so then now this is the part, this whole addition here is the part where it clears out like empty buckets and stuff like that. So I want to count what is inside the crafting grid, which is going to be our workbench, which is up. Yep, it's going to be right here because that's where the bucket will be left over. I want to count the items inside of that. And then this is going to go down and it's going to say, are there zero items? If there are items, then it's going to say, hey, well, let's grab those and then put them into our processor and then put them back into our storage. So... We want to grab the items from the grid, which is up, up. And then let's make sure there's nothing else we need. All right. And then now I'm not going over these numbers because if you copied and paste them, they should be in there already. And then we want to say, well, where do we want to put the items? Once we have them inside the processor, we want to put them back into the rift, which is node rift and then side up. So that it goes upwards into the rift. And then they should go back into our storage. And I believe that that is that. So let's go ahead and save it to our program card. It's going to ask us for a name. We're going to say craft. And then we can take that out. We can put that into a processor in the first slot where everything is allocated. And then because I already have those crafting card recipes inside there, if I go inside my crafting station, I should have some recipes already. Is it nighttime? Let's make it daytime. There we go. So let's go ahead and try it out. Uh, I like to use the all-in-one tool as an example because there are lots of parts to this. Let's take out any sticks that we have and any planks so that it has to craft everything. There we go. We should have some oak inside there. We have plenty of oak. Let's take out our sticks so it has to craft the sticks too. There, sticks. And then one more. And then now we should be ready oh that's a programmer there we go we should be able to ready to try so there we go it's going to get all the things that we need see now if we didn't have all the cores it would have stopped because it needs a core to think about the next recipe but because we had so many it was able to keep going and then now we have our all-in-one tool awesome right let's see if we can whoops let's see if we can make multiples let's make like four of them now if you haven't used this before if you just click on it one time it'll just make one item but if you shift left click on it it'll ask you well how many do you want we're going to try to make four let's see if we can do it so it's going to go through it's going to make one you can see here it's queued up four of the all-in-one tools there's one there we got three more to make there we go it's got that it's going to try to make a third one and then it'll try to make our last one and voila we've got all of our all-in-one tools so let's go ahead and throw our pieces back inside here there we go there we go there we go and there we go okay awesome and they're not like lying around or anything right something that so why this is so cool uh it might add a way for us to like add things to our storage it, it might make something easier like if we add some sort of dropper up here a dropper or a, a modded dropper you know like from actually additions or or something like that then we can get maybe some stuff inside of our storage faster uh, it might make some some mass storage easier later on but for now 
I think that that is going to be it for our episode. It's probably a short one. I wasn't really keeping time. I just really wanted to like have another video on the auto crafting, show you how easy it can make it can be, and uh, that you can still use that video uh, in case you're having troubles with it. I know a few people have had troubles. So, anyways, I'm going to call it here, and I will see you all next time. Bye.